Okay guys, this is the second video in our trigonometry chapter. We're going to be looking at the angles 30 degrees, 45 degrees and 60 degrees. The reason for this is that the sine, cosine and tangent of these angles give us certain exact values. Those values are these that are on the page right now. For example, sine 30 is a half, sine 60 is root 3 upon 2 and so on and so forth. Now, probably with time what will happen is that you will memorize these values, okay? Um, or if you're in an exam, you can type them into your calculator and your calculator will show you that you get these exact values. However, it's quite helpful for you to know the proof of why these values exist. So we're going to look at that in just a moment. And then at the end, we're going to see how we can uh, use these to simplify certain expressions. So first of all, uh, to prove the values for 30 degrees and 60 degrees, we're going to be looking at an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle is a triangle, remember, that has sides that are all equal and angles that are all equal. Uh, for this, we're going to choose an equilateral triangle with, ang uh, with side length 2, 2, and 2. Okay, and the reason for that in a moment. And we're going to take this triangle and we're going to split it into two parts. So I'm going to divide that triangle right there down the middle like that. Okay, and when I do that, I'm making a right angle triangle. And we'll just consider the left hand side of this. Okay, and that means that uh, the side at the bottom is now one because that's half of two. So that side length there is one. And we want to find out the height of this triangle, which we'll call h. And we can find out that height by using Pythagoras. So we know that one squared plus h squared will be equal to two squared. Therefore, h squared is going to be equal 4 minus 1, which is 3. So h is equal to root 3. Okay, so we can now say that this length here is equal to the square root of 3. Well, okay, if this is an equilateral triangle, then we know that this angle here must be 60 degrees, right? Because 180 divided by 3. And therefore, this angle must be 30 degrees because that's half of the 60 degrees. Now, if that is the case, we should be able to figure out what sine 30 degrees is and cos 30 degrees and tan 30 degrees. Let's just try to think that through. Okay, sine 30 degrees. Well, what is sine? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So this is the opposite side length and this is the hypotenuse side length. So sine 30 is 1 divided by 2. Okay, so sine 30 is a half. Cos 30, what's cos? Well, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So this is the adjacent side. This is the hypotenuse. So cos 30 is root 3 upon 2. Okay, and the same thing with tan 30. Tan is opposite over adjacent, right? So that's 1 divided by root 3. Another way of writing 1 upon root 3 is root 3 upon 3, right? Because we're just rationalizing. And the same thing uh, can apply if we want to find the sine, cosine, and tangent of 60 degrees. So why don't we just do that as well? So I'll just get rid of these just for a moment. Get rid of all that. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to find the sine of 60 degrees, cosine of 60 degrees, and tangent of 60 degrees. Okay, remember what is sine? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so this angle here is 60, so opposite over hypotenuse is root 3 over 2. Cosine 60 is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's 1 divided by 2. And tan is opposite over adjacent, okay? Root 3 upon 1, which is just the same as root 3, okay? So that helps us to find out the sine, cosine, and tangent of 30 degrees and 60 degrees respectively. Okay, we just take a uh, equilateral triangle and divide it up as shown. What about 45 degrees? Well, if we want to take 45 degrees, we can consider a square with side length 1 and 1, which we then divide into 2. So instead, imagine we've got, got, kind of got a square like this, right? So that's a square. We chop it in half down the central diagonal. That means that this angle here will be equal to 45 degrees. Okay, using Pythagoras, we could find the length of this hypotenuse. I'll call this h again. Pythagoras will tell us that 1 squared plus 1 squared will equal to h squared. So one squ um, 
h squared will equal 2, so h is going to equal to root 2. Okay, so that uh, here is going to equal to root 2. So how can we find sine 45 degrees and cosine 45 degrees and tan 45 degrees? Well, again, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so 1 upon root 2. Adjacent, uh, sorry, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, that's 1 upon root 2. And tangent is opposite over adjacent, which is 1 divided by 1. So in other words, we've got 1 upon root 2, 1 upon root 2, and 1. But remember, we rationalize, so instead of writing 1 upon root 2, typically we will write root 2 upon 2, okay? Because we, we rationalize the denominator, okay? So that's the derivation for all of these, these values, right? Um, and of course, you'll have to know them for radians as well. You just got to remember that 30 degrees in radians is pi by 6, 60 degrees is pi by 3, and 45 degrees is pi by 4. Okay, let's try a couple of questions. Calculate the exact value of tan squared 60 degrees times by sine 45 degrees. Okay, so tan squared 60 degrees times by sine 45. Well, we just got to uh, revert to our table. What's tan 60? Tan 60 is this thing here. That's root 3. Okay, we can go over here. Oops, sorry. Tan 60 is root 3. So we've got root 3 squared. And what's sine 45? Well, we can go back again. Sine 45 is root 2 upon 2. Okay, go over to here. So we times this by root 2 upon 2. Okay, then, well, what's root 3 squared? That's just 3. So we end up with 3 root 2 upon 2, and that's our final answer. Okay, another example. Here, this time with radians, we've got cos squared pi by 3 plus sine pi by 4. So we're going to find cos of pi by 3 first, then we're going to square it, and then we're going to add sine of pi by 4. Well, we just need to be a bit familiar with what these are in degrees, right? So pi by 3 is 60 degrees. Okay, so we're really asking what's cos 60 degrees, and cos 60 degrees is a half. Okay, so we're going to take cos 60 degrees, yeah, and that's a half, so we've got a half squared. And what's pi by 4? Pi by 4 is 45, and sine 45 is root 2 upon 2. Okay, so now this is going to be a quarter plus root 2 upon 2. That's probably good enough to leave it that way, but why don't we give it the same denominator? 1 plus 2 root 2 upon 4, and that would be our final answer. Okay, so guys, Basically, what you need to know is you need to know that for the angles 30, 60, and 45 degrees, or rather pi by 6, pi by 3, and pi by 4, you have got specific exact values for the sine, cos, and tan. You need to know that, and then you need to be able to simplify expressions that involve those angles. Okay, I hope that's all clear, and uh, I'll see you again next time.